Hey everybody, my name is Danny, and when I was a kid, much like you guys, I wanted to be a superhero when I grew up. And I think pretty much everybody, or at least a lot of kids, want to be a superhero when they grow up. I mean, why wouldn't you? Superheroes are cool. Superheroes are awesome. And so when I was a kid, I would go around and I would pretend to be Spider-Man, I would pretend to be Superman, Batman, all these guys, and it would be great. But of course, when you grow up, you realize that you can't be a superhero because you don't have superpowers. Or can you? The greatest thing that I found out about when, uh, I don't know, say I was in my mid-twenties or so, was this thing called cosplay. And what cosplay is, it's basically where people, adults and kids too, but mostly adults that are big kids inside, dress up as their favorite superheroes and their favorite characters. And I thought this was great because, you know, maybe if you're an adult and you run around dressed up like a superhero, people might make fun of you. But at Comic-Cons and cosplay, no one makes fun of you. They think it's awesome. So I was a big fan and I wanted to go to my first one. And at the time, I was a big fan of a TV show called Doctor Who. Um, and the Doctor is a character. He's uh, basically a alien and he goes around and he saves people and so i thought it was cool and i wanted to dress up as the 10th doctor who was my favorite doctor i did that and i got a lot of good feedback people thought it was great i even went and met the actual guy who played the 10th doctor david Tennant. got my picture taken with him and everything um but unfortunately there were some people that kind of gave me some feedback that I wasn't exactly okay with. They meant it well, but it came across and it kind of actually hurt my feelings. See, the doctor from Doctor Who and all the doctors in Doctor Who was white. And I, of course, am a black guy. And so although I dressed up and I legitimately had the whole costume and I had the sonic screwdriver and everything, I wasn't quite accurate according to some people they will come up to me and they would say things like oh man that would be great if the doctor was black or hey if idris elba or somebody ever played the doctor you'd be a great cosplay and that didn't make me feel good and so i enjoyed being a hero but it didn't quite feel as great as i thought it would be and so I didn't want to stop there. I still wanted to continue to dress up and go to Comic Cons, so I decided to be another superhero. Uh, I was really big into a TV show called Arrow, and I wanted to be the Green Arrow. And so I got a costume, it was legit. Um, you know, did some working out to make sure I could fit into that, and I was the Green Arrow, and I felt awesome. And I went to Comic Cons, and again, everybody was like, that is great. I see what you're doing. You're Diggle whenever he was the Green Arrow. And if you haven't watched the show, the Green Arrow, who's Oliver Queen, has a friend named John Diggle. And John Diggle is a black guy. And John Diggle put on the Green Arrow costume in order to fool the police so that they didn't think that Oliver Queen was the Green Arrow. And so when people saw me dressed up in the Green Arrow costume, instead of thinking, hey, this guy's Oliver Queen, they thought, oh, he must be the black version. He must be John Diggle dressing up as Oliver Queen. He's not really the Green Arrow. And that, that again, didn't quite give me that good feeling. It was one of those things of, but I am the Green Arrow. I don't necessarily have to be the same color as him to be that. Um, and so, again, undeterred, I didn't want to stop there. I still wanted to continue to do it because it made me feel good. Um, I actually uh, dressed up and, and, and got into a group uh, where we go around to um, different places like the Ronald McDonald House and the Muscular Dystrophy Association. We dress up as superheroes and, you know, we were there for the sick kids. Uh, it's called Cosplay Carolinas. We have a lot of uh, the girls dress up as Disney princesses and we have a lot of people that dress, dress up as Spider-Man, Batman, all these different people and so I joined in with my costume as Green Arrow and I decided I wanted to try and do something different I decided I wanted to be Kid Flash because Kid Flash was actually played he was Wally West and 
although there was a white version of Wiley West, there was also a black version of Wiley West. And I thought, aha, this will be the one. And so I dressed up as Kid Flash, got the costume, and it was great. And you probably guessed it. Uh, people said, oh, that's a great version of the, the, the black Wally West. Again, it always, always had to be that version. I wasn't quite that version. So it was starting to kind of take a toll on me. It was starting to kind of hurt my feelings because this thing that I really love to do was kind of being tainted and kind of being, you know, kind of bumming me out when people didn't quite get what I was going for or told me that I was not quite what their expectations were. And then the movie Black Panther came out and I was in awe because now there was a superhero that looked just like me. And there wasn't a version of him. No, the Black Panther... King T'Challa from Wakanda was a black guy and I was like I can be that guy and so I decided at that point I was going to be the Black Panther and I had to do a lot of things I had to work out and eat right and all the things that I didn't want to do I had to eat a lot of vegetables and I'm not a fan of vegetables you should eat them they're important but man I love cheeseburgers anyway it took me a lot to get into that suit but I did I worked hard and I was able to go to my Comic-Con as the Black Panther. And when I put that suit on and I walked around, no one looked at me as like, oh, you're the, the, the second rate version of this or, or you're almost there. They called me the Black Panther. They called me King T'Challa. I got a lot of Wakanda Forevers and it was amazing. It was everything that I wanted because... I got to fulfill that. I got to be a superhero. And the best thing was that I got to walk around and I saw little kids who were either dressed up like the Black Panther themselves and wanted to get a picture with me or just were there looking around with their parents and they wanted to get a picture with me because they were like, wow, there's the Black Panther. And it felt great, you know? It it was what I wanted. And I was able to dress up and go to, you know, different events with the, the Cosplay Carolinas, went to see sick kids at Ronald McDonald House, and the light in their eyes when they saw the Black Panther, it was great. And I realized that although it started out as something that I wanted to do, I wanted to be a superhero because I'm a big kid inside and I always wanted to be a superhero as a kid, what it turned into was me giving the kids something that I didn't have growing up. See, you guys have the Black Panther now as a hero. And me dressing up like that and going around to different places, the kids got to see that. The little kids that looked like me got to see someone that looked like them. And they were the hero. I was the Black Panther and I could see kind of the hope in their eyes and it made me feel good. It was one of those things of it. In life, sometimes people can almost ruin something that you really enjoy. They can almost take it away from you. Some people mean to do it. Some people don't mean to do it. But if you let them, they can kind of take away your joy. And what I learned was that you shouldn't let that happen. That if something is important to you, if something makes you happy, you should do it. And you shouldn't let anything hold you back. And even if it is the color of your skin, which unfortunately for people of color, there are some things that are more difficult for us. You still dig deep. You understand the situation but you push through and you become the hero that you didn't even know that you were. So it was something that I was very proud to do. I still wear the Camoyo beads. I have my Black Panther helmet. Uh, I even have the Royal Wakandan ring. 
uh, I'm kind of kind of the Black Panther even when I'm not the Black Panther. So, especially with unfortunately us losing Chadwick Boseman, I think now it's more important than ever for me to keep doing that thing so that I can keep passing on hopefully that joy and inspiration. And I got to say that something that started out as a silly thing as a as a kid's dream has now become one of the most important things in my life. So that's that, and I hope that you find something that makes you happy, but it also has a positive effect on everyone around you. Thanks, guys. <laughs>